a look under. If we can see that kind of activity out a little bit wider once we're over the shelf, yep. um, we can find gannets and, and those other type of fish out a little bit wider, then yep. we'll be in certainly be in some albacore water and perhaps with a chance of a, a yellowfin and yep. we'll take it from there. One of the benefits of bobbing vertically, especially in a river like this where there's so much timber, is the fact that we rarely get snagged. We're letting our bait get right down in amongst all those roots. You can just imagine you've got big yellow belly working in underneath all these roots down here. It's always interesting to come to a new area that you've never fished before. So I'm coming in blind. We're fishing an area that I don't know at all. I've had a few tips from a few mates. I'm reasonably confident throwing soft plastics around in a situation like this that we will actually catch fish, but I'll hopefully be able to show you a few of the things that I'm looking for when I'm hunting for fish in an estuarine scenario like this. When you think about trout fishing in pure clear water streams, Sydney probably doesn't jump to mind. The revitalised trout streams in southern Australia have seen the return of some of the most amazing trout fishing in the past decade. The calm waters of Harvey Bay should be on every angler's bucket list. <laughs> there are a few other places in the world where you can try this. Sight fishing for black marlin from a trailer boat in shallow water.